Greetings and welcome to the introduction to astronomy. One of the things that I like to do in each of my introductory astronomy classes is to begin the class with the astronomy picture of the day from the NASA website that is apod.nasa.gov apod. And today's picture for January 20th of 2022 well, it is titled NGC 7822 in Cepheus. So what do we see here? Well, we are looking at a star forming region within our galaxy and towards the direction of the constellation Cepheus in the northern sky. It's a relatively nearby one about 3000 light years away. Now what does that mean? Well, that means we see it not as it is right now, but as it was 3000 years ago. Now, has a thing like has a star forming region like this changed drastically in 3000 years? Probably not a whole lot. It probably looks basically the same as what we see. Although, of course, there could be some minor changes in the details as the star forms stars are forming and are eating away at the regions around it. And we can see some of those pillars pointing in towards the center where the star cluster is forming. And those pillars are denser knots of material material and the less dense material has been eaten away. So over that time, probably a little bit more of that has been eaten away. But I would guess that if you could see this right as it is right now, it would look basically the same as what we're seeing here. Now this is looking at the image through a narrow band filters. And what that means is that we look at very specific wavelengths. And in this case, we use what is called the Hubble palette. And the Hubble palette looks at three different atoms, that is oxygen, hydrogen and sulfur, and maps them into specific colors. So oxygen in the blue, hydrogen in green, and sulfur in red. So it allows us to see where that emission is strongest. Now just because we see and the emission from an element strongest there doesn't mean that that there is more of that element there. It simply means that the temperatures are right to excite that element. So in all pretty much what we're looking at here is hydrogen. Most of what's here is hydrogen gas even though we do see a lot of blue and red that indicate oxygen and sulfur. It's just that we need certain temperatures to excite each atom. And if we're not at the right temperature, then they're not going to be as visible. So for example, even in our own sun, if we look for the helium lines, our sun is about one quarter helium uh, by mass. And if we look at that, and we look at the uh, helium lines, they're very weak. And that's because our sun is relatively cool and not hot enough to excite the helium to be able to detect it. So here we can see uh, some of those some of that when we look here at the Hubble palette, we can see all of the dark dense knots, which are regions where stars are continuing to form today. So could we come back in 100,000 years or so we would begin to see significant changes here. A lot of those tentacles pointing towards the central part of the image would be eaten away new stars would have formed. And perhaps even a few of the more massive stars might have gone through their lives. So that was our picture of the day for January 20th of 2022. It was titled NGC 7822 in Cepheus. We'll be back again tomorrow for the next picture. So until then, have a great day everyone, and I will see you in class.